Podcasts are hot right now. How do I know? Well, you're listening to one right now, aren't you? But you might be wondering, how on earth do I get my voice out there and start my own podcast? It all seems so intimidating. Between hosting and platforms and monetization, it can get real complicated real quick. Well, I'm going to let you in on a little secret. We started this podcast over two years ago, not knowing clue one on how to do it. So how do we do it? We did it with Anchor. Anchor is the free podcast app with creation tools that allow you to record and edit your podcast right from your phone or computer. And Anchor will distribute your podcast for you so it can be heard on all the platforms like Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and many more. And everybody likes money, right? Well, you can make money from your podcast with no minimum listenership. It's everything you need to make a podcast in one place. So go right now, download the free Anchor app, or go to Anchor FM to get started. It's the E-Commerce Minute, your daily dose of e-commerce, tech, and retail news with your hosts, Bart Moraz and John Suter. The E-Commerce Minute is a production of Sumo Heavy, a digital commerce consulting firm in Brooklyn, New York, and Philadelphia. Find us on the web at sumoheavy.com. It's E-Commerce Minute episode 663. In today's episode, Walmart tests subscription program to compete with Prime. We're just going to warn you immediately that, yes, this is another Walmart competing with Amazon story. What can we say? The companies have an insatiable thirst for outdoing each other, and we just love reporting on it. Back in 2005, when Amazon launched a silly little membership program called Amazon Prime, Walmart boasted larger profits than Amazon's entire revenue. 15 years later, Prime is the key reason for Amazon's dominance over Walmart in online sales. So naturally, it's time for Walmart to test their own subscription service. Walmart will begin testing a new annual subscription plan as early as next month with features that will eventually go beyond those offered by Ravo, Amazon.com's Prime program. Over the past 18 months, the world's largest brick-and-mortar retailer has explored creating its own paid membership program called Walmart Plus. The program is expected to essentially launch as a rebrand of Walmart's existing Delivery Unlimited service, which charges customers $98 a year for unlimited same-day delivery of fresh groceries from one of the 1,600-plus Walmart stores in the U.S. where the program is available. Vox reports that the company is also considering launching Walmart Plus with a feature that would allow customers to use text messaging to place orders. Sources said that the amount of the Walmart Plus fee could still change or the company might test multiple price points. Down the road, Walmart may look at adding other perks, such as discounts on prescription medicines and or fuel at the chain's gas stations. Also being considered is a service that would allow members to scan items as they shop in stores, then check out without having to wait in line. In a best case scenario, Walmart executives hope that Walmart Plus will lead customers to pay for more products and services with better profit margins potentially helping to break down losses in Walmart's e-commerce business. You know what? Walmart has a terrible mouthfeel. Yeah, it does. Walmart. It's a horrible mouthfeel. You have to break it into two words. Walmart. Walmart. Like, ew, it just... So, 98 bucks for... I don't see the... I mean, if you're comparing it to Prime, unless you're ordering a whole lot of stuff from Walmart, I don't know. What else am I getting? Yeah. What's the difference? What am I getting? What was that D2C drink that we reported that was uh, dirty, lemon. <laughs> dirty lemon, unless you're getting dirty lemon. So it's funny. We've done so many stories about Walmart that I can't even keep up. They would had all their acquisitions. And then the last six months, oops, we made a mistake. We retracted. But one of the stories that we did was they actually own a streaming service called, I think it's Voodoo, V-U-D-U. I think that's the one. Oh, yeah. And I would think the reason for that acquisition was to go up against Amazon Prime Video. Like they were making feature for feature acquisitions to build up to this. And now that they're launching it, it's like, well, it's like a lead balloon. I don't see any reason why anybody would want to sign up for this. I know. I it's, don't understand. It's, because it's like they're threatening with new features too. We're like, eh, maybe right. we'll add some text messages. Just you, just you watch us. We're, we'll, we'll have features. <laughs> Wait. We'll show you, I think, and there's got to be a reason why they announced this, what I consider prematurely, unless there's something in the story that I'm not seeing, given what is Prime? Is Prime 119? Let's do a little live Google. I think it's 119. Yeah. Well, I started with Prime when it was $79. So every time that bill comes, I'm like, (gasps) oh my God, back in your day. (laughs) Yeah. So Prime is 119. This is 98. But think about what you get with Prime. There's some features that if you're making a comparison, via Prime that are worth that in itself. Some people like the photo storage. Some people like the music. I know the Audible is extra, but you get free eBooks each month. I mean, there's so much stuff that you Mm -hmm. get with Prime. I'm not seeing it here. No, and it's like people don't really gravitate towards Walmart when they need to order things anyway. 
Yeah. Let alone. Big, well, <laughs> as, some, as some expert pointed out, some fear day program would look team in comparison to Prime, which had a decade head start. Well, they're exactly right there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, I feel like Walmart necessarily, like as a brand, I feel like people aren't brand loyal to Walmart. You know, like people like shop at Walmart for convenience, but it's not like, I feel like people are more brand loyal to Amazon anyway. Yeah, well, that's true. But the problem is that everyone's addicted to that sweet prime juice. And I think what Walmart has basically done, they're like, this was inevitable. We'd have to come up with a competitor sooner or later. This is how Amazon started out. Amazon started out with two day or whatever it was. I think it was just two day delivery and then slowly bolted on features later on and were able to increase the price given that you've got so many more benefits. And I guess Walmart just finally said, well, we have to do this sooner or later. Let's just friggin' do it. <laughs> I, mean, right. I can't figure any other reason why. So we look Jumped at Walmart. Shirt. Yeah. Uh, we look at Walmart's market cap as of March 30th, 2020. It's 321.25 billion. That's compared to November. Let's see where they were lowest. November 13th, 2015, the market cap was only 181.1 billion. So there's growth there, but it's not coming so much from e-commerce. So that is what they're trying to... Listen, my head spins when I try to figure out Walmart e-commerce because we reported all the, all the acquisitions that they do and then they suddenly retracted it. They have their in-house incubator, Store 8, which kicked out a lot of like really innovative stuff in the last couple of years. I haven't heard much from them lately. I don't know what's going on over at Walmart, but... Just looking at this in particular, this seems to be a premature announcement. I don't know what's up here. Yeah, I agree. I feel like we're going to allude to its inevitable like collapse in a few episodes. Well, no, you're gonna, no. here's what will happen. They can squeeze out five more press releases on Walmart introduces new added feature to Walmart Plus, and then it's the video service, and then it's the film developing or the film storage Auto storage, music service. You know, they'll probably just try to bolt things on just to make it more appealing. Well, I Once mean, they-, they have the whole book out there, right? Like, it's playbook is out there. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's like they'll just look and see what worked and what didn't work for Amazon and just bolt that on. All right, close up with a couple little stats. Amazon now accounts for 40% of all online retail sales in the U.S. according to eMarketer. And Prime is a huge reason why. Walmart is a distant number two with only a little more than 5% of the U.S. e-commerce market. Today, more than 50% of Walmart's top spending families are Amazon Prime members. I think there's a definite crossover. I think there's certain things that you buy at Walmart, certain things you buy on Amazon, and that's just the way it is. Because Walmart's, they're still going to take advantage of that bricks and mortar, and they're just, you're either a Walmart or a Target customer, but I guarantee you that both of those customers are also Prime members because that's just another service. What do you guys think? Yeah, I would agree with that. (laughs) I don't know. I mean, it's like a weird competition. It is. You know, if you're trying to talk in terms of Amazon Prime versus Walmart Plus, like again, we were saying there's no, where's the beef? Yeah. I mean, I think it was a, today it got announced that Amazon is adding more warehouses to deliver stuff in the day. So I don't know how Walmart is going to compete with that. Yeah. That just came out today, right? Yep. Now it's forget next day delivery. It's, you know, within hours delivery. Yeah, on their site, actually, it's like, if you order now, you get it by five o'clock this afternoon. That was an hour ago. Okay. Yeah. So I don't, I mean, I guess, you know, they can compete with Amazon a little bit, but the logistics of the last mile thing is a little harder for, I think. Yep. 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 That's the struggle with any of these services, the last mile delivery. I think where Walmart is trying to compete, they're still the largest grocer. So they're, I think they're going to still try to win the grocery game. And, you know, they did those self-driving grocery deliveries and all that kind of Mm -hmm. stuff. They'll throw anything against the wall and see if it sticks. We'll see. Guys, got anything else? Nope. All right. That's your e-commerce minute for today. We'll see you on the internet tomorrow. That's it for today's show. If you like the show, do us a favor and subscribe or leave us a review on iTunes. And don't forget, you can now listen to the e-commerce minute on your Amazon device. Just add e-commerce minute to your flash briefing. And finally, if you have a comment or suggestion or just want to say hi, find us on social media at Sumo Heavy.